Hey guys, it's Ruffles Kerman. Today we are going to be using fireworks to get into orbit and actually go to the MUN as well. So no fuel, no engines, just fireworks. Now if you've seen one of my earlier videos, you know that you can use fireworks with a cal controller and overclock the force and the launch velocity and get something that is much more powerful than even the most powerful engine, the Mammoth, which is pretty great. If you want to know how to do this, you can watch one of my earlier videos about the ION engine. I should put a link there um, in the top corner for you to see. But that one details how to use the cal controller to overclock things such as the thrust limiter on engine or the force and launch velocity on fireworks, which is what we're doing here in order to use fireworks instead of engines. So here we go. You launch the fireworks and you get something that um, is, is much cooler than normal engines. It, it's pretty amazing, like that. That was just one launch. I mean, it's launching six at a time, but just, just one launch, you get what I mean. Anyway, getting to orbit is very easy. You just point straight up, launch a couple fireworks, get into space, point sideways, launch a couple more fireworks, and you're in orbit. No complex parabolic motion and engines and staging and other stuff that you have to do on normal rockets. This is much, much simpler. The issue with using fireworks to get into orbit and to land on the MUN is that the fireworks aren't a constant thrust. As you saw right there, our orbit was super far out just because they were so powerful and they launched us not into a normal orbit but into an orbit like that. So the issue is that you're stopping like 400, 500, maybe even 900 meters per second at once, but you can't slow down and sort of hover or have a slow landing on the MUN. You gotta go down and then cut all your thrust at, or cut all your speed at once and hope that you don't crash at all, which does make it a little more difficult to land, but as long as you know relatively how much each firework launch decreases and you have enough fireworks, then it'll be fine. Also, I can edit the cal controller. I can move the little top slider right there to change how much thrust the fireworks provide. And that way I can get smaller motions with the fireworks. So while it's not a constant thrust, it's much better than the fireworks, what they can do at the highest, which I think is over 800 meters per second, which is pretty insane, but way more than we need to land, as you can see. We cut all of our velocity there and we're actually going up again, which is an issue. So we have to lower that play position and make sure that we're actually going to land in a safe manner. Again, went up a little bit. Again, the fireworks are pretty hard to use. But we do actually get to land and after a bit of skidding, we can come to a stop. And there we have it. We have actually landed on the MUN with no fuel, no engines, just overclocked fireworks which is pretty cool in my opinion. Okay, now that our flag is planted, it is time to head back to Kerbin. Now, this can be somewhat of an issue because, again, you can't really just get into orbit the normal way. You have to go against all the conventions, and the best way to do this is to launch straight up. So we're going to use the last fireworks in that bottom stage, and then just two points sideways. And this top stage is powerful enough right now to get us completely into orbit in one launch. Actually to get us on an escape velocity out of the MUN as well, which was really nice and really easy. So now all we have to do is get to this periapsis and shoot a couple more fireworks. Well, yep, like that. I think that was one, maybe two. And now we're going to enter Kerbin. Now you might think this is a fast entering speed, but remember we have thousands and thousands and thousands of Delta V to use from these fireworks just by launching one or two. So. Once we start to enter the atmosphere, yeah, all we have to do is launch a couple fireworks 
and these kerbals will be nice and not toasty, which is a good thing when you are trying to land. By the way guys, we just passed 10k subscribers, which is a very huge milestone and very awesome as well. So thank you guys so much for that. And if you're not subscribed, consider becoming part of the right after 10k gang, which is definitely not something I just made up to try to get you to subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and do subscribe and have a great rest of your day.